Do you feel the vibes? Once again, we're back here at the uh, property, and um, as you guys can see, a fair bit has been done since the last video. So what we're going to do is actually have a quick tour around the property and see what's uh, what's been done since we've last been here. Um, so that'll include the 6x9 shed and also the front entry, which is the sandstone mason work of the pillars. Okay, as we can see, all the guttering, the roof, we're looking at... Uh, all the brickwork's actually been totally completed around the house. So we've still got some electrical work there to be done on the corner. Uh, we've still got uh, a water tap there to still be connected. So further up here, we're just going to go past the toilets, windows. So we're looking at the laundry section here. So we're also waiting on uh, a little concrete slab there to be done for the hot water system. That'll get done. Another external tap outlet. So none of the uh, downpipes have actually been done yet. Uh, I dare say they'll be coming up next week or the week after. Wouldn't be too far away, I guess. So the back of the house, uh, you've got your your gas for your internal gas for our stove. Um, you've got a bedroom window here. We've also got the theatre room window so we've got an external water adapter there again so the water tanks actually been put in um, I would have liked it to come back a little bit more at least another two meters but uh, that's the best that they could do at the moment so that's fine the only reason I sort of question that is because the pool is coming in this area so yeah, we've got to make sure it's in there a six by nine pool and you've got to allocate a set of tiles roughly about 450 wide around the pool and then you've got to allow at least a little bit of room from that and then your gate and your fencing for your pool and then allow a little extra space on the outside of that to sort of move around yeah it's not too bad it's pretty good i'm happy with the work that these guys have done so this has obviously gone up over the last three four days that's how long i haven't been back here since so all the brickwork still all totally been done, the eaves have been done. Painters are still coming back um, this week coming to finish that off. So yeah, that's the alfresco area. Got a couple of got a um, tap there, power. This will all be the deck will all be here. So I'm very, very happy about the brickwork finally being done. Coming up to the garage side now. So the section there where it's different coloured obviously is where it's going to be cement rendered. So the three pillars, the edges of the uh, home will be all cement rendered. And the garage is in. So the front driveway is actually 10 metre driveway, it'll be concrete. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to be, maybe on a slant that it is at the moment, they're going to shape it. But the driveway will be the same colour as the uh, retaining wall colour around on those pillars. And also the 6x9 shed, shed's all been done, looks fantastic. Alright, well that's outside. Let's go walk inside and have a look. So we've got all tinted black windows, which is, I love it. I love the privacy. Big 1200 stained door. That's not the original door handle that's going to go on. That door handle is actually a builder's door handle. It's like a, a one key for all the builders to come in. And that'll open the door. We'll have our own doorknob on there. Stainless steel one, I believe it comes up from here. Comes up. It's one of those handle pieces you pull out, which is nice. So the inside's all been done, it's all been painted. It looks nice. I'm very, very happy with the work. It looks really nice. 
So again, we'll go through all the rooms. All the doors have been sprayed. Spare room. That's the garage. It's a bit dark in there. The garage is down. Cupboard space. This is your living room. Master bedroom. I'm not sure if they've got to come back and do a second coat or they're done totally, I'm not too sure. Paint job does look very good. So I can't see any brush marks or anything like that, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe that the final coat is on. I don't know what you guys think about that um, little cut out the wall. It's called a half wall. I like it, Tracy likes it, so yeah, it looks good. So the tiling for the bathroom, the wet areas, they're coming in next week. So hopefully all the tiling will be done. These and her basins will be in. Laundry tub will be here. Walk-in room. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a slight design on these doors, all the doors are. That's the temporary door that we have while we're building. That's got to go. Coming into the kitchen area. So the kitchen will actually be started to be assembled uh, next week coming, which will be great. Very good work on the roof. So I've also got, if you remember from my last video, I've got HDMI cables coming out of the room for the TVs because we're going to pull the TVs up on the wall. So they've all got to be refound again back in the wall cavities and pull back through and connect it to the plates. Double doors for the theatre room. Again. Very nice paintwork. So this room is actually going to be painted. I'll be re redoing this room black uh, with a theme. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think I'm going to Hollywood theme. A uh, couple of pictures up on the wall. Tea lights inside them. You know, maybe something for a Mad Max uh, picture. You know, uh, Star Wars picture. I'm a big Star Wars fan. So. Yeah, if you guys uh, want to leave a comment on how you guys would want a theatre room, it'll probably give me some ideas. So yeah, just leave a comment down below and pass along any suggestions, that'll be great. So we're going back out. Going to the hallway for the bedrooms. All done. The view from outside. Just spray the doors in there, keep them out of the way. There was a manhole cover, I'm not sure where that's gone. I'd say it's somewhere on the ground being painted and it's too wet to put up. Bathroom looks good. Nice. Got all, um, all your wet areas there will obviously be tiled. frame up for the, for the wall for the um, laundry. It's outside again. The bedrooms. Keep going down the hallway. Next bedroom. Pretty much all the bedrooms are the same. 
you know, just showing you every room, just for the quality. I mean, these these guys work fantastic. I'm I'm really really happy. You know, like like I've mentioned in the past in my first video, I think I mentioned that you know a lot of people say the Dixon homes, oh they're not so great. You know, um, and then some reviews you go on Google and you have a look and they say, oh yeah, they're fantastic. Well, this is one of those days so far. Everything's been fantastic. But I guess look, we've we've travelled 45 minutes uh, from. Uh, Brisbane City, but I guess it's where you live too. You know, they've got um, people that painters, chippies, brickies, depending on which area you live in. So you're not going to get the same people to build those houses in the city than you are in the country where we are. So I guess um, your quality will change, but I'm very, very happy. My wife, Tracy, is very, very happy. All right, so we're actually heading down to the front entry. And uh, we've actually got one, two, three, four sandstone pillars ready to go. Uh, he's got a fifth one, which will be started next week, towards the end of next week. And that's going to incorporate the mailbox. So we're actually going to get some um, solar lights for the tops of these as well. And what else? I think we've still got to get water connected up this side. I want to put a... A water tap up here so we can use water up in this side of the driveway because if you look behind me roughly I think it's 115 meters to the house all right so this is the uh, sandstone that was the first one that actually got done all different shapes and sizes have been over here cutting they look nice it's going to be nice and level all the way across. The driveway is going to get leveled out. Very nice and very, very happy with it. They've got reinforcement bars on the inside, which is good. Oh, yeah. This front entry is going to look very, very spectacular. So, three here. Three on that side of the driveway. We haven't put those in because we've got a big truck coming with, with a pool first. So once that comes in uh, next month, towards the end of next month, and we'll finish off the next two. And then we'll have another two in the middle of the driveway about there. For the gate. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And leave a comment. That'll be great. Thank you. Do you feel the blues?